Hey y'all, it's still Sunday and there are a bunch of cute monarch caterpillars in the butterfly haven. And I thought we could peek in on them. It's really weird out because over there, blue sky, white puffy clouds, and behind me, really dark menacing looking clouds. So I don't know if they're gonna blow over or what, time will tell. Hopefully we get some rain. Just in case I've been out here um, watering and usually when I water just in case it actually rains so we'll see. Alright so let's go on in and see all these cute, cute, adorable caterpillars. Alright there's two on this plant right here. Where'd the other one go? When these guys get big, they're fast. Oh, there it is. They're fast. Look how beautiful. I also brought in two golf fritillaries and they're together. I found them out in my garden. That was exciting to see. I had this big rectangular planter right there. Um, it was kind of like shoved under something. There was nothing in it. So I put some of my tropical milkweed seedlings in there. There's a caladium in it. I forgot. There is something in it, a caladium. Anyway, um, and I moved it in here, so hopefully that'll grow up soon, faster. It's looking pretty good though, that I grew them from seed. And yes, they are in the enclosure, not out in my garden. There's a little baby. Oh my gosh, is that a queen? No. Hang on. I had to put on my glasses, but I think it is a queen. It looks like it's got a tiny little extra set of antenna. That's fabulous. Hey y'all, I am back at it again with Mexican sunflower seeds. This time um, I've got an area where I want to throw the seeds out, but um, when we were at that uh, Polk gardening sale, <laughs> my dog's chasing the lizard. We were at the Polk gardening sale. I bought some bags of germination mixed soil. There are $2 a bag. Now I've used some of it, so this bag was full. I thought, well, why not? Let's try it and see. So I'm going to sprinkle these where I want them. I'm just going to put a tiny layer of the germination mix over them to give them a bit of a head start. So let's go see how that works. So this is the little section to the right of the walkway back to the Butterfly Haven and the rest of the garden area. And so what I would like to do is right along behind in this sort of walkway here, plant some Tithonia so it will grow up and tall and over the lower plants in front so you won't really see
when you're looking at it, you won't see the base of So when you're looking at it, you won't really see the base of the plants. You'll just see the beautiful orange flowers popping up from behind, like a layered look. Which is what I really like to do with my planting. So it just looks pretty from the front to the back, which is what I like to do with my garden sections. It gives them that kind of all crammed in cottage garden feel but yet it's you don't see like the the bases of the plant that don't have a lot going on and the leaves that start to turn brown and the straggly pieces you only see the pretty top part because that's kind of how Tithonia does its thing so you can see back there with my red pentas you can see some orange Tithonia popping up behind it that's exactly the look I'm going for in this other garden section. So I'm exposing some of the soil. Sprinkle in a few seeds. And then I'll just lightly cover a little bit of the germination mix. You don't want to cover it too deeply. And there we go. We'll see how that does. Y'all, the Tithonia germinates pretty quickly, so it shouldn't take long to find out if this was successful. And the more Tithonia, and the more Tithonia, <laughs> the more butterflies. Okay, so now I'm gonna go show you the water cow bean that is in my wetland garden. And the cool thing about it is, I don't know, I just love the look of it. There's tall, um, thick, spiky leaves and the little tuft of flowers that it gets on it. I just, it's just different and I love it. So, it is the host plant to the Eastern Black Swallowtail. It is in the carrot and parsley and celery family. And it's just a super cool plant. There's a puppy under my feet. <laughs> so here we are in the wetland garden and right here is my little water cow bane. And it likes to be in wetland organic muck, which this isn't really mucky, but it is wet, so so it does like it. And this little plant likes full sun and it is hardy in zones 8A to 10B. And you can get these at the nectary. They do carry them. I would check first to make sure they have them in stock, but it's a super cool little plant. So you guys, when I was walking over to that blue chair that's right there by where my wetland garden is, there was, there's dogs running under my feet. <laughs> there was a big black snake under it and it went whooshing off. And let me tell you, I love having those black snakes in my garden, but they're getting a little too friendly with me. Like they don't mind me being around and they'll just come and scurry right on by my feet. And I'm like, oh, hello. And, you know, I'm not afraid of the snakes. I just like to know that they're there 
because I don't like that little startle when all of a sudden there they are slithering along like this far from your feet. So, mm -hmm. hello. I wanted to show you guys real quick. Look at how nicely my spice bush is growing in from its time of dormancy. And the last to arrive, always and as usual, it's mid-April. And my papa finally has some growth. Is that not fabulous? That's it. That's all we got. Oh, wait. No, that's not all. There's, look, there's another one. <laughs> I love it, though. It's coming. And my beauty berry, I trimmed it all back and shaped it. And, oh, my goodness, it looks so good now it's not all spiky and like with one big stem sticking out here and sticking out there it's kind of like looks like a shrub i love it I just found a little golf fritillary caterpillar. Um, it was actually in the bottom of one of my milkweed plants that I have out in the garden. The dogs were wrestling, and uh, there's a corky stem passion vine right above, and <laughs> they probably bumped them off. So I'm just bringing them in here into the enclosure. And look, I found this one and brought it in just moments ago. So now this one gonna get added he doesn't quite want to let go of me here we go so yay hey y'all so I want to show you a couple of blooms in my garden some of my cute little fuzzy favorites are blooming and you know it's always fun to have cute little fuzzy plants to show in your YouTube video about gardening. And sitting beside the first cute little fuzzy plant is my cute little fuzzy cat. But right here, this is a little mimosa and a cat that wants a pet. Yeah. It's a sunshine mimosa and it may <laughs> and it makes great ground cover. And this is what the, the leaves look like. They're kind of branchy. And I love, I love the little leaf stems. Like you can use this instead of grass. And then you get these adorable puff balls and a cute cat <laughs> that wants to see the adorable puff balls. Isn't it pretty? I love these things. And the other little fuzzy plant that I want to show you is the blue mist flower. Now, funny thing about the blue mist flower is that I've had them in my garden. This is my third year having them. Third. And they come up here and there, and then they disappear. And I always think, <laughs> they're not thriving. But yet, every year, a random mist flower will come up. But they don't stay long. They don't take over. And they're just there for a little bit. And then they go. I don't know. But they're cute. So, of course, there's a random one coming up. And where is it coming up? In the walkway. Right in the walkway. But I'm just going to let it be. Because that's where it wants to be. And here it is. Right on the edge of the walkway. And look. It's fuzzy also. It's adorable. And um, it is a native plant. Oh, my gosh. I had the cat. Now I've got... This one, <laughs> wanting to be. <laughs> and now I've got this one wanting to be in the video. Oh yeah, and that one too. All right, scooch guys, scoochy, scoochy, scoochy. Where'd the flower go? There's the flower. Okay. <laughs> Actually, there's some on both sides. So there's one and here 
is another one coming up. And so they get these cute little fuzzy purpley flowers and they, um, it's called blue mist flower, but I think it looks more purpley. And um, pollinators love them, like little things, like little bees. And they're just really cute. And they'll just pop up. Look, there's another one right there. It's just not blooming yet. I probably have more throughout my garden. I'll find them later. So that's blue mist flower and sunshine mimosa. Fuzzy plants that are adorable for your garden. Oh, and also I was back in the greenhouse watering my um, pentas, coming to the nectary sometime soon. And um, there was a polydomus butterfly in the enclosure. So another overwinter it closed and I let it out. So it's flying around somewhere. Hopefully I'll see it in my garden. Maybe I'll get some eggs one day. And by the way, I don't think I said this earlier, but it's Tuesday night. It's Tuesday night. It's absolutely beautiful. We had our cold front come through and the weather is absolutely lovely. We had all that good rain. My garden is oh so, oh so happy. Those dogs. And anyway, um, I think we're going to go in for the night though because it is starting to get kind of dusky and somebody's got to go work tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Y'all know who that is?